Welcome everybody to the first play date of the spring semester. Um, we're hoping as all of you are that the spring semester is uh, a lot better than the fall. Although the fall we've had some really, really amazing things amongst all the challenges that we had. We still had some amazing projects coming from faculty and students. And so I'd love to um, show you a brief video of all the stuff that happened last semester. So, so those are some of the really cool things that happened last semester. Of course, they happened very quietly. Um, so sorry about that. I don't know um, if we got the audio feed there. But um, anyway, as you can see, there's a lot happened. And um, one of the other things that happened last semester is that um, uh, a lot of ICAT faculty spent some time looking at the projects that have happened over the years and, and really come up and, and sort of gathered them into different research themes. Um, that will nicely represent um, ICAT going forward. And you can see them there. They include um, engaging community, creating the future of work, uh, making big discoveries with immersive technologies, uh, bridging physical distance, amplifying the arts, empowering data, designing a more sustainable world, and finally reimagining education. So, I forget, am I doing this or am I turning this over to, to Tom here? It's you. It's me, okay. Um, so I'll run through these. We've got, I just should point out that we've got all of ICAT here with us um, today to kind of present all the different things that are um, have gone on and are going on coming up. Um, so one of the things that um, as folks remember from last summer, we had a rapid response grant where faculty submitted for, um, proposals to work in the summer, mainly supporting students throughout the summer. Um, and a big update here is that um, the virtual sculpture garden is live. Um, and it was also um, shown in the VT news just recently. So if you're interested, you can go to this link um, and check out our, our contribute to the virtual sculpture garden. Uh, updates from um, the uh, Bridging the Gap um, group. And if you remember, that was a group that actually um, had kits that went out into the community. Um, and so they also have ha been in VT News, not once, but twice um, uh, over the past um, half a year. Um, Thomas Tucker has an um, amazing project um, uh, working on, uh, and you saw a little bit of the imagery of that in the video, uh, working on a way for a person in virtual reality to actually experience touch 
um, and eventually will be actually experiencing smell um, as they explore that virtual environment. Um, and his work with David um, Franisic um, has been um, showcased at the very prestigious Ars Electronica, and you can see the links there. I'm going to pass it to Dylan. Thank you, Ben. Uh, I'm Dylan Parker, and I'm the web developer, graphic designer at ICAT. Um, this, uh, this is a very cool, uh, crazy cool is what Ben told me to say, crazy cool representation of our, uh, of our cube space. And the cube, for those of you that don't know, is a, a very unique um, four story black, uh, blacked out theater uh, that we do AR, VR research in. It's home to our 360 degree cyclorama uh, projection system that you can see there. Uh, has 140 speakers that, that surround it. Um, but with COVID and whatnot, it, we wanted to give perspe perspective faculty members uh, a chance to come in and, and see the space without having to go to the space itself. So you can go to this website below, icat.vt.edu slash studios to see this 360 degree uh, tour of the Cube. Um, the Cube is open this semester. You can find information about reserving um, time in there at that website. You know, I'm throwing it back to Ben, I believe. No, actually, you're tossing it to me, Dylan. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Tom Martin. I'm the deputy director of, of ICAT. And I'm going to talk to you about our major SEED grants uh, that were awarded this year. And SEED is a play on, um, it stands for Science, Engineering, Art, and Design, and it's meant to fund preliminary work. So uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is Creativity, Arts, and Technology to Build Civility, which is looking at technologically enhanced uh, theater and visual arts interventions to promote civility. And it's a collaboration um, across the university from the School of uh, Public and International Affairs, the School of Performing Arts, and the School of Visual Arts. Next slide, Holly. Um, the next seed grant is transforming highway construction training through multi-user immersive augmented virtual reality. Um, and this team is looking at how to use um, augmented virtual reality to improve uh, worker safety uh, by trying um, to use that technology to, um, to train the workers uh, to improve safety. And again, it's, uh, that's, that's fine, Ollie. let's go to the next one. Um, um, so the next project is virtual watersheds, an immersive experience at the confluence of water and society. And this is looking at Struble's Creek uh, here in Blacksburg and, and underneath Virginia Tech. And the basic idea of this is how do you get um, the public to care about a, a stream that they can't even see because most of Struble's Creek is, is buried underneath the town and the university. So they are using uh, various forms of virtual reality to give people an immersive experience. Uh, of Struble's Creek and uh, hopefully improve the, the attitude toward it. Um, the next project is Penny P's Backyard, which is um, um, a TV show about a, a, a young girl and several of her friends going around uh, Southwest Virginia and um, making shows about combinations of, of science, art, and culture uh, in the area. And then the, the last project I'm going to talk about is VR Viewfinder, um, uh, engaging bystanders in virtual reality-based interactive media using our auxiliary viewing devices. And the basic idea of this project is um, trying to give people who, who can't see what's inside the VR headset of somebody who's experiencing it uh, a better way of viewing it. Right now, what's done is um, you might just show to the audience what the person is seeing. But what this group is doing instead is they're giving the, the audience essentially handheld cameras that they can walk around and get a view of what's going on in virtual reality from the, the vantage point of where they're standing. So they'll have flat displays that will track where they are as they move around and give them the view from that vantage point. And I think with that, I'm gonna turn it back over to Ben. Sorry, I was muted there. This semester too, um, we're, we have a couple areas of focus um, that we're really, and, and this especially is important for any students that see this or faculty that are, are, are watching this and, and have students that are interested. Um, uh, we have two uh, focus areas. One is in telepresence. Um, to, what we all know is that we, we've spent the past, I, it's unbelievable, but coming up on almost a year 
um, online. And we have some amazing faculty from the library, from Telos, from computer science, from visual arts, working on ways of, of uh, connecting us all using um, uh, VR techniques. And sometimes it's about VR in terms of an immersive environment and sharing an experience to learn. Um, sometimes it, it's about learning how to convey three-dimensional objects um, across distance. Uh, there's, there's so many applications of this. And so this is one of the big focus areas that we have and in our call for student proposals that, that we talk about, um, this is gonna be one of the focus areas. And, and the second area, um, Holly, yeah, so thank you, is the um, health and design initiative um, that's um, being led by Tom Martin um, it, with a team of faculty um, spanning architecture, um, the, college, uh, the College of Medicine with Carillion um, and computer science, really looking at the future of work and the future of how we engage healthcare. Um, uh, you know, how do we engage with healthcare as an individual, um, as a healthcare provider, as an administrator of health uh, uh, hospitals, those kinds of ideas. So this is our other area of focus um, uh, over the coming months and has been for, for over a year now. Good morning, I'm Tanner Updegrove, the immersive audio specialist at ICAD, and I'm uh, stepping in for George Hardebeck, our studio and facility manager, to briefly update you about the Creativity and Innovation District. Um, the Live Learn community is on schedule. Um, so that is still still under construction and moving quite moving along quite well. Tim Baird is excited to be the faculty principal. Uh, I spoke with him yesterday and he's really jazzed about and lighting up this building and engaging the community. And students from all colleges across campus are represented as part of this Live Learn community. A second quick update, the Media Design Studio hosted at the libraries. Uh, we're, we're partnering with them even further to uh, have ICAT equipment available for loan, uh, as well as um, the other resources that are available through the Media Design Studio. So to learn more about that, look at the uh, library website and they have information about resources and hours of operation. Next, I'll hand off to Holly. Good morning, I'm Holly Williams and I'm the Assistant Director for Administrative Operations and I'm excited to talk to you about our call for major seed grants that's out right now. Um, this is what we do every spring. We have a call for ICAT's major seed grants and this year those are due on February 12th and then we go through a selection process in the spring and they are awarded towards the end of the semester and then they would start the summer um, July 2021. So those grants are up to $25,000. We do have a special incentive for a little bit of extra funding potentially for projects that make a case um, for undergraduate involvement. And we have a number of projects available that we are looking for proposals for. Um, we've got our open call that we have every year and we're hoping to get some really neat diverse projects for that call. Uh, we're looking for a cube project, um, so that's a project that will utilize the cube. We are, again, partnering with the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences to have a joint call for advancing ag through technology and innovation. And then I think many of you know that next year is the Virginia Tech sesquicentennial celebration and also ICAT's 10 year anniversary. So we would really like to sponsor a project that focuses on that type of celebration. And then we also have the Creativity and Innovation Tech for Humanity Integrated Research and Experiential Learning Grant, which is a partnership with the Creativity and Innovation Destination Area, as well as the uh, Center for Humanities. So if you're interested in putting together a team and a, a grant proposal, um, information is on our website on the funding page. And I think many of you joined us last week for our seed grant workshop. And if you missed that, we do have a recording. So just let us know. We'd be happy to share that with you as well. We also have our call for student seed grants, and that is coming out today. Uh, we will be awarding two grants up to $2,000 for teams of students. We will be awarding one grant in each of the research theme areas of bridging physical distances and health and design. 
And so those are going to be due on February 10th, and then we will make the announcements by February 19th. So full information for that will be on the funding page by this afternoon, and then we'll be circulating that around um, to get the word out to teams of students. And we are excited about supporting these two research initiative areas. Phyllis? Yep, I'm here. Let's see if Okay. Um, Great. I'm, me, I'm Phyllis Newbill. I'm the Outreach and Engagement Coordinator for ICAP. Um, this year, the ICAT Creativity and Innovation Day is happening again. It'll be on May 3rd, as usual, the last Monday of classes. And this is a day where we celebrate um, ICAT-related and ICAT-funded um, projects and just bring them all together so that people can explore them and enjoy them together. Uh, we will do this online again, um, at, like last year, but this year we can plan for it to be online from the beginning instead of uh, making the switch in March. Um, so the, the call for proposals will be out by February 4th. Um, you can uh, let me know your intentions of, of participating in that uh, with that on that call by March 22nd. And on April 19th, you'll have a video due to, to share with the group uh, uh, as well as your own links. Uh, each project will essentially have a website um, to, uh, to share, share the amazingness of the project. Um, and like last year, we're going to ask our uh, ICAT advisory board to, uh, to check out all the projects and to award trophies to them. Uh, you'll see that Time Garden there uh, received one of the, the board choice trophies last year, and there were many, um, many great projects. And it was great to have the, the advisory board so some folks from outside of the university talk about what was cool and what we're looking for and what um, how these, these projects uh, really are at the cutting edge of, uh, of science, engineering, arts, and design. So look forward to that. Let me know if you have any questions. It's going to be a great day. Melissa? Thank you, Phyllis. I'm Melissa Wires. I'm the fiscal coordinator and admin for ICAT. And one of my responsibilities um, at ICAT is to schedule these play dates. So we're glad that you've joined us this morning, and we hope that you will join us for other Fridays, the rest of the playdates take on a little bit of a different form than this one. We choose projects to showcase and we have the, the principal investigators on those come in with just them or their team and they present. We usually do a short little video to start showing you what they're doing, what they're working on, maybe how they've done it, their studio. They all take a little bit of a different form. And then we have a live Q&A with the investigators or the people on those projects that can include students or faculty, both. Um, they're usually really, really interesting and you can submit your questions real time. And we feed those to the um, investigators, to the PIs as we are on, live on camera. And so they're pretty interesting and it's a good way for you to ask questions and still be engaged with the project. So, um, you can see those are up there. Um, we're still scheduling some of those, but we will hear this week. I won't go through the projects. Tom covered a couple of those when he talked about major seed grants because we try to get them to present along with some other things. But ICAT has four centers within it. And so at some point during the semester, we will hear from the Center for Human and Computer Interaction, CHCI. We will hear from the Center for Educational Networks and Impacts, CME. We will hear from, we have two destination areas that we also support. So we will hear from the Creativity and Innovation DA, and we will hear from the Intelligent Infrastructure for Human-Centered Communities DA, and some of the projects that each of those four centers are working on. So we'll definitely hear from those as well. So always, um, you can always see kind of what's coming up by checking our events page under icat.bt.edu. And we try to keep that updated several weeks in advance so that you can know which ones you'd like to join in. If there's one that you're interested in and for whatever reason you can't be with us live on Friday morning, which we really encourage, we do keep those up on our YouTube channel and you can get to that link by searching YouTube or just clicking through the events on our ICAP page and it'll take you to that. So you can go back and watch them a couple of times or if you've missed them or whatever. So we hope you'll engage with us through play dates. And um, if you have any questions or um, if you, you know, want 
want to be connected maybe with a team that's up there, just give me an email and I can connect you with the people who are presenting. So hope you'll join us. And with that, I'll give it back to Ben. Well, just again, wanted to um, end like I began with just saying, um, you know, we're, we're here to help you. We, we're looking forward to a really good <laughs> semester. I know it's still going to be challenging, and that's why we have here that we're here to help you. Um, and, you know, as Holly mentioned a little bit ago, um, ICAT is in its ninth year. This fall is going to be coming up on our 10th year. And you know, we deal at ICAD and many of the faculty um, that work with ICAD deal at the national level with um, this, these connections between the arts and design integrated with science and engineering and the humanities. And it's always a challenge, but I, I'm just so impressed with the progress that we've made over the years. The projects that Tom went through that are being funded this, this semester or this, this past year um, are absolutely amazing projects, and whenever I show them to other universities at the United States, around the United States, they're always incredibly impressed with what we have going on here. So um, I'm glad that you want to be part of the community and let us know how we can help you um, make your pro interdisciplinary projects successful. <laughs>